Hi everyone, this is Dark Jedi Plays, and today we're going to be taking a first look uh, at a demo, which is not part of the Steam Next Fest, it's uh, a demo outside of that, I believe, at Diplomacy is not an option. And uh, this is a... Uh, the closest thing I can associate it with is They Are Billions. Now, if you've never played that, um, that is a, it's a strategy game where you're getting regularly attacked by uh, outside influences. In They Are Billions, it's zombies. In this game, it's... Um, well, it's external forces, we'll just say that for the moment. You'll see when we're playing it. Um, this is actually my second attempt at a first look on this. The first one I did, I did the tutorial, and the tutorial was about 20 minutes long as well. And I thought to myself, there's no point in me doing that whole thing, so I, I kind of quit out of that and thought, right, we'll just go into the demo itself. I know how to play the game. I'll tell you how to play the game, and we'll go from there, really. Um, so, if you want to see some more of this game, you can uh, see the stream... Sorry, see the link to the Steam uh, page in the description down below, as well as links to my Twitch, Twitter and Discord. Feel free to uh, hop along in there if you want to, that's absolutely fine. And you'll also see that subscribe button, which will hopefully help me get rid of this cold quicker, if you can click that. It's worth a try, anything will work at this point, rather than me having this bloody cold. Right, let's carry on, demo time. So as I say, I've played quite a bit of this already. Um... So yeah, survive and withstand enemy waves is the entire uh, raison d'etre of the uh, the demo. Now this is a different setup to how I started the demo, so uh, I'm going to pause it quickly and just have a quick look around. So we have a few things here. We have some forces which I'm going to select, and I'm just going to move them over here quickly. We have some berries, some trees, more trees, more berries over here. Actually, we've got more food this time. We have some water over here which has fish in it, and that looks like about it. And obviously the wood and everything else. We've got more berries down there too. So we'll unpause and we'll carry on. So what we need to do, just let them, again, I'll uh, set them as hotkey one. So, my lord, this time we don't have a chance, but let us be positive. The longer we stand, the more mongrels we can kill. So there we go. This is our town hall, which looks remarkably like a, council, uh, uh, a castle. Don't ask, it just is. One of the things I need to do here is I need to start building some things. So under the resources down here, we have the fisherman's hut, which is a little bit far away. Uh, but we can do a berry picker's house first. So I'm going to stick a berry picker's house there and also there just to get us started and we shall carry on one of the other things i want to build is going to be a builder's tower or builder's house and i'm going to whack that right next to the castle just because always a good idea to have that so you only start off with one builder um, which is why you need to build his house so that they have somewhere to live and then after that you need to build a proper house and i'm just going to have this down here for the moment now i don't know where the enemy is going to come from just yet obviously north is this way uh west east and south and so on and so forth we know that uh okay that's just our objective that's fine okay so we'll wait the builder's house will get built we can speed time up a little bit so he builds quicker and there we go so that will now employ a builder so he can come and build some more things for me. One of the other things I also need is a, a lumber mill. And I'm going to stick that. You see there's a radius. If you look where the um, if you look next to the house where the builder is at the moment, there's a shaded set of squares. That's the radius of it. So I'm going to pop one here. And I'm also going to pop one here. Now, one thing you need with these guys is you need a porter's house, which I can never find. It's these guys here. So I don't have any people at the moment, so I've got to wait for this to fill up, so to speak. Right, let's speed time along again. He's off building the lumber mill. Okay, so we've only got one unemployed person at the moment, one free worker. I've got to wait for this to fill up. It doesn't take too long, but we can see there's zero out of six people living in there. It'll just take a little while to fill up until tomorrow. I'm clearly gathering food over here from the berries, so that's fine. Right, I will eventually want to build up uh, the fishermen's huts as well, because they're needed too. Okay, and we're, we're going to run out of food tomorrow. Oh no, are we full of food? No, we're still fresh food. Okay, so we can build a granary, which I'll get to in a bit, uh, but they do require um, some different resources, so uh, I think it's no, not that one. Uh, I can't never remember where it is. There, granaries there. It needs just stone, which I don't actually have stone available to me at the moment. I need to go do some hunting. So you can zoom out and you can see obviously a lot more of the map, but uh, I like it fairly zoomed in so I can see things. At least until we get information about where the next, where the first wave is coming from. Okay, there we go. Nine people now, so we can now build. Uh, let's build the porters first because they're going to be needed. 
um, if I build you there and then you there so the people in the lumber mills they don't take anything themselves uh, they need the porters to be able to go and do that so same with the fisherman's hut but the people in the berry collecting they, they will take it and it's fine right you will focus on wood we don't need to worry about anything else yeah that's fine don't worry about that okay and they're going to be taking whatever they can get basically oops I didn't want to do that and then you build a fisherman's hut uh, build it there oops punch the mic sorry about that right we shall wait what's the matter with you your lumber mill storage is full are you going to take it yes you are taking it right As you can hear, I'm quite ill still. Um, trying to push through and get some videos out for you guys so you can at least hear something of what I'm saying. Uh, no, it's still fresh food supplies. Yeah, so my food is now full. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I know it looks bad, but uh, it's not that bad, actually. Uh, let me take you guys over here. I just want to see if there's any stone anywhere. Oh, there's some more berries down there. That's really good. No, okay. So once you have a group of units selected, you can right click and drag and you'll be able to see, um, uh, place down like a formation for them, which is quite nice. Ah, we've got some people over here. Okay, so uh, let's go, can you attack? Yeah, they attack anyway. So the catapult, really powerful uh, when it's on target, of course. There's some stone over there. Kaboom, right, attack. You don't need to attack these guys, but they are, they can cause you some problems. In fact, that might be a good place to expand up to. Just gotta be careful we don't lose any units just yet. My archers seem to be okay at the moment, that's fine. A boom right okay let's grab that soul stone in fact let's grab that one first and that's a, uh, a little resource we're going to use later on the fact that there's a big old wall here is actually really nice so i'm going to bring you back to about here and we no nope, don't do that wrong button i'm going to build another house another three houses in fact because why the heck not and then the granary I still can't build. I can build storage. So we'll pop down a storage uh, just here. My lord, a pigeon from the scouts has arrived. Enemy forces are only a day's march from here. You can tell from the enemy map where to expect the strike. So we can see down here, big red flashing bull sign. But we have a timer on there as well. So these guys are okay here for the moment. We're going to pop you up that way. Just so that they're out of the way of everyone up here. Right, and then I'm going to pop down a stone mine. There. And there. Now, I can't remember if they need a porter or not, but I think they do. Oops. I always do that. So I'm going to build myself a porter's house. Just here. I may need two, but we will see. So, two and a half minutes... But we're actually going to be okay. This thing only holds wood, if I remember correctly. Uh, wood, stone, and iron is the only thing it holds. It doesn't hold food. So as soon as we start getting stone, we will start uh, to build some more stuff. Now, down here, I can hold some. I can build some more berry things, but we we'll need to actually get the fish thing sorted first. So we will wait. It's okay. anything up here I can actually see there's another stone mine there let me just double check if I pop you there try and uncover the map a little bit there's another house there not overly bothered by that um, but I will pull you back here now oh we just killed someone up there I'm sorry not that much though right stone mine one is done 
Stone mine two will be done soon. One and a half minutes left until enemies arrive. Oh, we're attacking someone. Well, he's dead. The bunnies. And who are you? Oh, you're going to go over here and work, aren't you? That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Enemies are still advancing. One minute, 15. I'm aware my food is running out. Well, not running out. I'm, I'm unable to store anymore. I'm getting in a decent formation, that's fine. 55 seconds. Okay, so you're taking stone back, which is grand. I still don't have any yet, but uh, that's okay. I could have built a storage to this side, to be honest, but that's fine. You can also, of course, build um, walls and things. So uh, I could, in theory. Can you? Yeah. Right. Build all out as wall. So I mean, at least that'll give me some defence. It is only fourteen seconds away though, so I'm not too sure how much we're going to be able to do with that. Well, it does take them a while to actually walk down. Right. We now have plenty of people as well, which is really good. The more people equals more food being consumed, which means I don't need to store quite as much. Enemy forces are approaching, my lord. Thank you. Right, we can still not build the granary, so that's fine. But it does mean here we can advance a little bit. It does take a while for the enemies to get here, so it's not terrible. That wall is done, pretty much. I might build it across that way as well. But you can uh, middle mouse to go around as well. Uh, can I make you go that way? Yeah, I can. Make you go up to the tree line. Got my building, that's fine. Enemies are slowly enclosing. They'll come down this way. Is that them there? That might be them there. Yeah. Not sure if it was them or not. Ooh, I'm a little bit nervous. It's not, so I don't think. I think we're okay. You can make things garrison as well, which is interesting. They should be coming on the screen just about now. Not seeing them just yet. All these trees is making me nervous. Oh, someone's seen something. You're attacking the other enemies, which is not ideal, but I mean, we'll still be fine. Archers are quite OP, so. Ah, there they are. Hello, could you attack these guys down here, please? Right, at least my wall is in the way and it's going to help a little bit. You can see my catapult doing most of the heavy lifting there, which is fine. I will probably lose a couple of people. I tend to on the first one, but uh, I mean, not massive amounts of people. No, we're good. Right, okay then. So let's, uh, well, let's go clear this out then. I will build out this wall. There's quite a lot of them. Oh yeah, my catapult <laughs> keeps getting shouted out for being slowing down. I don't know why exactly, but uh Good morning, foes. Collect that soul skill skull crystal as well. That's something we can collect, so that gives us some resources. Right, we'll bring you back here. So now we've got uh, kind of a good resource chain going here, we can do quite a lot more um, with regards to what we've actually got. So we can build things like a barracks, for example, um, which I'm going to stick here. I think actually here. 
seems like the best place. We can technically build an engineer guild as well, which uh, produces catapults, but we don't get there just yet. And the obelisk as well, because these guys are a little bit slow in producing anything, really. Um, but what we can also do uh, is... Where's my storage? Not there. Nope. Oh, it's there, yeah. So I can put more storage here. Right up close to these guys here, so that it's it's not got as far to go, basically. Um, right, I will also build a set of wooden gates. There. Pop a wooden tower there. And a wooden tower there. And there. Just so that we can start upgrading things as we go. We've lasted... Yeah, we've got seven days. We're on day three, is it? Five, sorry. So this might be a good point to build another builder's house, maybe. Stick them there again. And maybe another person builder? Or another person's house once we get some more... Is that resources? Yeah, wood we need. So these lumber mills here are actually chopping down all the trees, of course, which can't help. That's just the way it is. Um, but we do need more of them. I also need another granary, actually. I don't have enough wood for that. The all range is still far enough, but it's not not massively decent. How are we doing for food? 69 food, that's okay. We can also see over here, we've got that red line is how much food we're going to consume tomorrow. Um, yeah, I still want to construct the granary when I can. Only 29 wood. Come on, one more. There we go. Right. Now I'm going to pop it just, just next to that storage. It's fine. Lots of things trying to be built, which is good. Right, there's my barracks. So to train these guys, you need food, which is fine, and a person as well. I've only got, I've got 21 people, so that's good. I've built five of those. I can't build any more than that at the moment. Stone going slowly. Got 18 of them, so that's good. My builders are going a little bit slow. Oh yeah, I also want to set auto repair on. It is very handy. And in fact, we'll set that to pro top priority as well to get a builder going for that. There's lots of control within the game, which is fantastic. I really like the way that it does all that. Uh, so you can actually see, uh, you can set priorities on things, which is really good. Yeah, lack of food is highly possible. Okay, that's fine. We're all right. It's not great, but it's fine. Uh, what I'll do is I'll pop another berry picker's house here and here. My lord, a pigeon from the scouts has arrived. Enemy forces are only a day's march from here. They're coming from the same direction again, which is good. So this doesn't feel as frantic as they are billions, where you have constant people coming towards you, or if you expand too far, you get the, uh, all of them all over the place. Um, but there is enough of them for it to make a big difference. Still plenty of wood. I've got no uh, iron just yet. I've not seen a place where I can even, where I've seen iron spawn. So, you know, I don't know exactly what's happening there. Uh, let's just uh, be that way. So you, you, go in there. Let's get another archer going. You there. You there. Our fortifications are under attack, my lord. I'm sorry? Where? Why are they under attack? Who's attacking? Oh, I'm being attacked from here. Can you, can you go get them, please? No. Oh, no. My storage. Quickly, quickly, quickly. That's actually really bad. I have not been attacked from behind before. Didn't even see you come through. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's minor depression. Um, okay, let's go back. I can't build a granary because I've got no storage. 
Uh, I can build storage though, so that's fine. I don't need to build a storage storage. Um, yeah, that's a little bit disappointing. <clears throat> Okay. Definitely need more food. Why are you... Are you not collecting that? Maybe I need another build a, build a porter's house there. I'll build a porter's house there. And then another fisherman's hut here. We'll see how that works. <clears throat> Could build another lumber mill up here, actually. Yeah, that should work. Uh, in fact, I want to stop you. I mean, you prioritise it, but you don't always take it. We'll see. A lack of food is hardly possible. I know, I'm trying to fix it. Okay, three seconds, two, one. Let's see how badly you get spanked this time. Are approaching, my lord. They are coming from the top again, which is fine. Can I? Okay, well that's all my people. Oh, oh no, it's not all of you yet. That's all of you. Let's set you as hot point one and then go there. But we'll wait till we see them. Hopefully we'll be able to see them reasonably quickly. Uh, let's pop a watchtower there. Nope, don't do that one. Destroy it. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that watchtower built in time, but it is okay. Should be able to see them coming down into view around here. Or here. Not too sure where they're going to come from exactly. These guys up here should have a better range. There's my watch. Oh my word, there's loads of them. Come on, catapults. Do your jobs. Oh, they're certainly coming towards me. Okay, attack. All right, you should be able to take those guys out. Even though there's only one of you. We are in a bit of a battle here. But we're doing okay. We haven't, we've lost one army guy so far. Well, there's loads down here. Okay, and down here. Oh no, no, no. Right, I think you. One of our squads suddenly got into battle. Suddenly, I'm not too sure about suddenly. Right, I think we made that, so I think we're okay. Yeah, we lost one uh, soldier dude, which is pretty good. Right, I want you. There, I think that worked. Yeah, so he's going to go across there now. I think that tower there isn't particularly useful. Hi, could you go in there please? Bump. There we go, that's better. So that wasn't terrible, but there is a lot of army up there. And over here, and basically everywhere else. <laughs> uh, I'm just looking on the mini-map down, uh, bottom left there, and there's a lot of people. Um, so all of them there, all of them there, and they all want a piece of me. <clears throat> so I've got two choices here. I can go out and try and take them out myself, uh, which won't always stop the waves coming yeah okay that's fine we'll deal with the food in a bit um but it will help it's just not a permanent fix um or i wait for them to come to me and i slowly try and take them out myself um now i have a dead person there as well so i could alternatively build um which one is it it's one of these a cemetery and a grave digger that can do a couple of different things for my thing. It helps with things like morale um, and stops disease spreading, so I don't need a cemetery. 
So if I build a grave digger, uh, let's say he can't pick it up there. Let's say here, for example, uh, just right in the corner there, and then a cemetery next door. That's another job that gets taken up, of course. So but you really, really need to have uh, decent food resources, um, which I don't particularly have at the moment. Like I don't have many fish, so I could expand out to here and go and get this fish. Uh, which I'll see over here if there's more fish. I don't really know. Yeah, why are you not? You only got thirty food in you, uh, but you're full. Can you come and get them? Thank you, porters. Yeah, so I've got to decide what's best for me uh, in this scenario. Um, and I think taking over these two here and actually building a wall out this way will probably help a little bit so that I can take some of this wood and stuff. Um, we will see. So he should go off over there now and get that dude. Yeah, there he is. He's carrying it back now. Like I say, helps with morale and things. Um, I mean, I can't build a berry picker's house because I've got no people waiting for these houses to be built and then filled. And he gives him a little burial somewhere. Has he buried him yet? Yeah, that's him there. And there we go. Right, so this is uh, Diplomacy is not an option. Obviously, clear influences from other games in a similar genre, I suppose. Um, but I think this has a lot of promise. Uh, I'm definitely going to be wishlisting this myself and, and giving this another go. Um, I really enjoy uh, these types of games, to be quite honest. There's um, there's lots to like as well. Uh, it seems like one of those games where you're always kind of micro and macro managing things, which I think is actually pretty good. Um, there's a lot of things that you want to be able to take care of within these games. You've got nothing local, have you? Oh, your storage is full. It really shouldn't be. It's just the porters. Uh, ah, the port got destroyed, didn't he? I have no port, no people left. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll carry on without it. Um, but anyway, that's Diplomacy is not an option. I'm going to carry on playing this, I think, for a little while. Oh, my word. Oh, I'm in danger. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to leave it there because I don't want to see you uh, let you see me lose, I should say. Um, yeah, links for this will be down in the description, uh, as will Twitch, Twitter, and Discord, and my... Uh, oh, God, help. I'm being invaded. Our fortifications I have to fix this. I'll see you later.